Hi, welcome to Arm Wraps. My name is Randy Miller, and today I'm going to be showing you what I do when someone orders a uh, fridge wrap for me, or a meat fridge, or door wrap, or anything. Uh, so if you like this kind of video, subscribe to me, and uh, post the subscribe button, also the little dingy ding thing, uh, to get the latest and uh, videos that I come up with. Also, if you like this, uh, well, it's today it's called the Chicken Coop Wrap. If you like this, you can go to the top right-hand corner if you're on an iPad or tablet or anything like that or a smartphone click on that and it'll take you uh, to the website but also you click down below it'll take you to the website too right to that link if you if you love this design and everything all right let's get to it so when you order a door wrap or mini fridge wrap or a fridge wrap um, every order is custom sized to fit your subject on this one uh, mrs mr chase our customer um, ordered the front wrap and a side wrap, just one, uh, one of each. Also, it's a side by side, so um, everything is all designed, and everything uh, already set up, and everything. So when I get an order um, in the notes, uh, just put down the measurements of each door, and also for the side by side, especially the side by side. Uh, Mr. Chase, what he did was he drew it out and took a picture of it and, and, or scanned it or somehow and then he sent it to me or you can email me all the information and everything. But Mr. Chase gave me the, the measurements of the height and the width right to the, the ice box. So the next step I do, um, I'll just show you uh, right here. Uh, let's get rid of this guy, add this guy. <clears throat> so this is actually uh, the side. And so on the side, I just make sure everything um, what he gave me the measurements I always give about see on the left side where the blue lines are at this indicates the or the edges of the sides you're at so basically on the left side I always add an inch on that left side and I always add an inch or inch and a half on the right side and what he gave me uh, let me look at the notes real quick 27 and a half inches uh, wide, and so you can kind of see uh, it's yeah 20 half inches wide, and then also 68 inches high, and so that is all taken care of. And next, what I want to do is I want to show you. Now these are all in layers, so we're going to hit. We're going to hit the sides next. So I just want to make sure. So when you see the blue lines, um, of course you can't see my cursor, but uh, well, let's do this right here. That blue line right there, above that blue line is the top of the refrigerator door. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, and I always add three inches, and even if the door is two, two inches or one and a half inches, it's good to have extra. And in every order, um, this is actually a matte sheen air release final. And every order you're going you know, to receive is actually a squeegee and a knife. So I give you all the tools and everything. Okay, so this one he gave, this one right here, I'm just going to start going to work. So 15 and a quarter inches right about there, okay? And I just want to make sure everything looks good. I'm just going to move that over a little bit. Move that, stretch it over. So like, I, like I'm showing you, Every order is custom sized. And I'm just going to walk you through this process. If there's anything you need, uh, if you want to chat with me, you can. I have the chat line open if you see something. Also, when you get done, when I get done with the video, if you're looking for any kind of information, go ahead. Okay, next thing I want to do the ice box is 21. 21 and inches down and 20 inches oops let's do this right real quick just want to make sure how high it is too and this is what I do when I have to fine tune things so the door is 30 or 63 and a half so 63 and a half right three and a half got it right about there and now always leave about in the, uh, three inches on the side okay so now 
I just want to make sure we're okay. Twenty inches high, so it's right about there. Okay, got the height and width of the box. Okay, now we're going to start fine tuning things. That goes there. We're going to move that guy down a little bit right about there. Let me get rid of that guy. That guy goes away about. Oops, let's get rid of that guy too. So you can see, I mean, there's there's work involved. I'm just, I am not one of those companies that you just copy paste or, I wanna make the, the image as good as possible. I mean, I always wanna treat my babies, I wanna call my babies. Okay, so this is where the ice box is, but, and it's going to get covered up, um, but I want to treat it like like it's not going to get covered up. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this guy right here. Copy, paste, same texture because you don't. I don't know where the where the ice box is going to go exactly okay the ice box is going to go right there and I'm going to send the customer the ice box or where the ice box is going to go and I don't want to put anything in there uh, okay so I just want to double check my measurements Okay, the left side looks good. Okay, now the right side. The right side is always a little bit bigger. It's 20 inches. Yeah, 20 inches by, and I'm going to add another 3 inches on the side. And. Thicknesses. So granted, I did do a lot of work uh, getting set up before. I mean, there's lots of layers that took me hours to do uh, to get it all set up. But once I get an order, it goes a lot quicker after I get everything's all set up. It's like a cook. Uh, you, you prepare everything first, and then when you get ready to serve, or when someone orders, everything's all ready, and it's just a lot quicker that way, um, organized and everything. And these are actually pretty big files, too, as you can tell. Let's bring this guy over. And then once I get done with this, um, I do save it. And so the next uh, Side by side won't be as hard uh, to do because um, the more I do, the more I save, and, the, and then also uh, the less work I, I get I do in the future. If that makes sense. I'm trying to focus at the same time. <laughs> uh, so everything is saved, and it's just a lot quicker.
get that box in there. Get down. Get Mr. Chick or Mrs. Chicken. Let's get her a little blown up a little more. And a lot of the images, like this background, or actually not the background, the chickens, uh, I got through uh, stackadobe.com, and I'll put the link down below. Uh, so if you don't see what you're looking for on my website, rmrass.com, you can actually say, hey, I went to the stockadobe.com, I checked out the, these images, I want these or this right here. Uh, we luckily we do a lot of fine tuning things. Okay, let's fat this guy up right here. I think we are almost done. Okay, the last and least, what I like doing the most, and this actually helps out when I install too. It's called installing or er, installation marks. And on the installation marks, I had little little dots. They're big enough that you can actually see it. And it doesn't matter anyways, but you can see the little dots. That indicates the corners of the door. So it's perfectly lined up. So there's no confusion on where to install the wrap on the door. There you go. Both doors, okay. Actually, as long as I'm up here, let's put that in a little bit more. It's always fine tuning things. And just get this guy right here. And I do care about uh, if you guys install it right or not, or and that's the reason why I put the the installation marks. I got how-to videos on that too, or not how-to, but showing you the installation marks just to make it a lot easier. Okay, I think we are set. So when you're going to receive, uh, Mr. Chase is going to receive two prints, actually three prints, uh, the left side, right side, and also uh, the side uh, uh, for the, the prints and everything. Oops. Okay, but other than that, thank you for watching this video. If you like these videos, uh, please let me know. Comment down below what you think. Uh, if you got some ideas that you want to come across and, and you want to contact me, contact me at rmraps at gmail.com. If you do that right down there, you can see all my information down there. Also, again, if you if you like this stuff down below, you can see the description. The link should be on the on the, the description box on the top right hand corner if you have a tablet or uh, anything or a smartphone or anything click on the, the card you know you can scroll down and you can see where it's at also I have how to videos on how to do this uh, wraps and everything uh, but other than that thank you again for watching this video and um, I'll catch you on the next video okay my name is Randy Miller and ciao 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 dork